So it is Friday and you know what that means. Friday not just means the beginning of the weekend but over here on my channel Friday means that it's time for a woman to woman video. And last um, Friday's woman to woman I think was about plus size models. So this time it's another request that I've had from a lovely subscriber who asked me to talk about body image and friendship. Now I think she meant friendship between women which is an entirely interesting concept in itself but how friendships can affect your body image and how your body image in its way can affect your friendships and I think it's very interesting when you look at women's friendships and body image because let's face it 99.9% .9 of women suffer from body image issues I watched an interview recently with Rosie Huntington Whiteley who to me is the most perfect woman on the planet um, side note have you seen the MS advert she's in obsessed with that advert best Christmas advert ever but anyway um, she admitted to having body image issues too. So you think if Rosie Huntington Whiteley isn't safe, none of us are. We all suffer from it, whether it's on a serious daily basis or it's just every now and then you feel a little bit chubby, we all suffer from it in different ways. And it's really nice and important, I feel, to be able to share these kinds of worries with your friends. Because if you can't share them with your friends, who are you gonna share them with? Men don't understand the concept completely um, and you sometimes need to talk about it with somebody but I found that the kind of body image problem with women tends to separate into a few camps you have the camp of women who maybe don't like to show that they suffer from it and you wouldn't ever be able to tell that they suffer from it I've got quite a few friends that are like that that I look at and think wow you're so confident and that's so great for you how do you do it and you get those types of women and it's a lost concept to me, I don't understand it, but there you go, you do have women who are like that. Then you have the ones who'll have the odd little issue and kind of understand what you're going through, and then you have the ones that have the really, really bad body image issues, and then you have the ones who don't really um, like to talk about other people's body image issues. This is an interesting type. Now, I feel like sometimes there's certain people where you can talk to them about your body image issues and they tend to be people who have got a very clear idea in their head of what you should look like and from my personal experience they tend to be um, friends of mine who are naturally very slim and they just tend to not really not understand the need for reassurance and that's really what it's all about it's not seeking kind of sympathy it's just looking for reassurance and for you to feel a little bit better about yourself and that's what you want when you're talking to a friend you want them to be able to make you feel like you're not alone and i have got quite a few friends that if i talk to about it they're not very encouraging in that they'll just sort of say mm, well exercise more and you're like but you're not getting it i've just told you that i exercise like an hour every day and my body's still not how i would like it to be they kind of simplify things and it kind of makes you wonder, does she think I'm fat? And I know that's a really ridiculous thing to think, but that is what I often think with these types of friends is that, do they think I'm fat? Is that why they're not like making me feel better? Do they think I need to lose even more weight? It's very paranoid thinking, but there you go. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. Then you have the types of friends who are very uplifting and very assuring and will say that, you know, you're beautiful and there's nothing wrong with you and, you know, that type of thing. And then you'll have the ones that kind of like to sort of say, oh, shut up, you're fine, blah, 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 joke about it, don't take it too seriously. And that can work in certain cases. That definitely can be um, a good thing to do, but not in all cases. And I really think that it's it's such an interesting concept because we all struggle with it but we all choose to show it in different ways so and sorry that about that my phone um, went off as it does um but yeah i think i was talking about how it's just we all deal with it in totally different ways and i think a lot of the time we can't really deal with it in we can't understand it it's like i've got a friend who's very slim and she has a lot of body issues and when she talks about it i don't understand like i don't know what i'm supposed to say to her to make her feel better because to me she's already so skinny and just has got nothing to worry about but we tend to kind of project our own body image issues onto others i think and if you are feeling a little bit sensitive like i can only talk from this perspective obviously because this is the only one that I've got but if I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious and feeling a little bit fat then somebody using the word curvy or um, 
any just anything like that will make it worse for me because I will just sort of feel like they're trying to say that I'm fat and I know that that's not what people are trying to say and nobody means it like that and it's just you know it, it's me taking offense to something that I don't need to take offense to but it's not something that I can always help and as much as I try to not let it get to me it definitely definitely does get to me as it would to all of you I'm sure so I feel like when it comes to this type of thing, huh, that sounds like a really sex and the city thing, when it comes to blah blah blah, no, when it comes to body image issues, we're our own worst enemies and I think we sometimes are so sensitive about it that we tend to make our friends a little bit of a body image enemy as well and it's not always the case, like I said, sometimes people can be really kind of affirming and helpful and that's really fantastic but other times it can be really really tricky and they can just bring you down and what do you do when you feel like someone's affecting your body image negatively and it could be someone that you know loves you very much but just them being you know a size eight with double d's is affecting your body image and that's not their fault that's to do with you that's something that's inside of you rather than something to do with them and you can't just cut someone out of your life because they make you feel like that and I really did struggle with it. One of my closest friends was like that and throughout our kind of teens I was insanely jealous because I wanted to be her. I wanted to look like her. And I don't. And now I know that I don't and that's okay. And I just really feel like I I don't think that anybody apart from you can really know your body image issues and can really help you with them. Only you can do that, only you know them inside and out and it's something that's very important to be able to remember and be able to kind of keep on top of. You can't expect someone else to help you keep on top of it because they can't, it's not up to them, they won't be able to do so and you need to remember that. So I hope this was helpful, I kind of covered what I thought was the topic but I kind of went a bit all over the place I suppose. But let me know um, if you'd like any more topics and that kind of thing and your experience with body image and friendship, do you think it helps or do you think it makes it worse in some cases? I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you next time.